Okay, so you decide that you're going to sew yourself a bra. You go onto the internet, you find all the fantastic materials, you find a website that has patterns and kits so you don't have to forget anything that you need to order. Great! Find a pattern that you love. Fantastic! You find fabric that you love. Ooh. You go to order everything together. Oh my god, yes. And then it comes to the moment where you have to put in your underwire size and even though you know that maybe you're a, a 36C because you went to a boutique place where they fitted you properly and you know that's your size, there's, there's no 36C underwire. Nope. There's just numbers from like 30 to 47. Okay, so before we get into ordering underwires and figuring out all the numbers and, and everything that you gotta figure out, um, you're gonna measure yourself. And I encourage you to do a couple things. Number one, measure yourself every time you're gonna order products. Um, measure yourself based on whatever the measuring process is from that particular website or if you're going into a store it, it's hard for me to even imagine that because the world's just gone so online especially for like specialty sewing even without covid for specialty sewing like it's just easier to get stuff online but even if you're going into a store ask the people at the store how they think that you should measure yourself because there's a few different ways and also, don't get locked into, I know what my bra size is. Don't get locked into that. It will only bring you frustration and heartache, I promise. Um, every, everybody has a different way that they want you to measure. And if you've ever gone to like a boutique bra fitting, um, they'll take your measurements. They'll say, okay, this is what standard size you are. And then they will bring you bras that are all the sizes around that. That's because math does not equal the fit, okay? We're gonna use math to figure out what standard size Gertrude is here, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna give her the right fit, okay? So don't be locked in thinking that you know what your bra size should be. Just, just be flexible, okay? Unlike Gertrude, you're not flexible at all. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the few different ways that I know to measure if you don't have somebody to help you measure and you don't have one of those measuring tapes with like the little thing that holds the tape and helps you get an accurate read, um, then I encourage you to measure in front of a mirror so that you can make sure that your uh, measuring tape is going straight. Oh, also, uh, measure without a shirt on. Measure in your best fitting bra. And if you're like, okay, Stephanie, I seriously, like, legit do not have a best-fitting bra. I have not bought bras since before I had kids, and I've been living in sports bras ever since. Oh my god, do not measure yourself in a sports bra. Don't. Don't do it. I used, just out of curiosity, I used the Beverly Johnson way of measuring, and I tried it with a sports bra and with a proper bra. And there was a difference of an inch and three quarters in my measurement. So, do not measure in a sports bra. If you genuinely do not have a bra... Um, that fits you well, that you feel like you can measure yourself in, just hold yourself to where you think it should be. Try not to squish, but hold yourself to where you think you should be and measure yourself that way. Particularly if you are doing the Beverly Johnson method, which we'll get to. Okay, first let's start with the most common though. Most common is the European method. She's 31 and a half inches in her rib cage and 35 and a quarter okay and so that quarter inch difference i mean that's that's something that you'd figure out and fit but let's say she's four inches difference we'll just kind of round it to the nearest and so a b c d so she would be a d cup with that measure with that method of measuring um in the european system you have like kind of random double cup sizes and then if you go to like big box stores they might have triple cup sizes. I don't understand why we can't have a standard way of doing this. If you're doing the American style of fitting you're gonna do the same thing except um, you're gonna exhale all the breath out of you that you can then you're gonna put your tape on and then you're going to add back four or five inches. So, okay, depending on if you have an odd or even number, because you want to get to an even number, all band sizes are an even number. So, 
We've got 31 and a half. Let's say she had exhaled all of her breath and she was measuring 31 and a half. I would add uh, five inches to her because I would want her to wind up at 36 and a half, where if I added four, she would wind up at 35 and a half. And so you're going to add four inches unless it brings you to an odd number, then you're gonna add the extra inch. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope so. Okay, so in the Beverly Johnson method, which is the one where you can just hold yourself up if you need to, if you don't have a bra that fits properly, but it's still, it's better to do it in a bra if you can. You're gonna measure from your nipple, let's say that's Gertie's nipple, and you're gonna measure down to where the underwire line is. Okay, so this is your bottom cup depth. And so hers is a three and a half, so then I would look on the chart that goes with the patterns and I would see what that cup size is gonna be. I'm gonna get my pattern, let's see what cup size that is. All right, so her, her, her bottom cup depth would fit uh, typically in a ready-to-wear bra, either a 40A, a 38B, a 36C, or a 32D. Why so many sizes? We will get to that. All right, so here I have a chart for underwire sizes. Um, there would be typically a bigger chart because this is just, this is what fit on my whiteboard. Hashtag homeschool. All right, so up here you have your cup letters and you have your band sizes. You will see the B cup has its band sizes in a different color. That is because this is where the numbers originate, okay? Similar to if you were to sew a shirt, you can pretty much be guaranteed that when you get that shirt pattern, it is gonna be drafted to a B cup. And then if you are below or above a B, you're gonna to have to do a bust adjustment to accommodate. Same thing here, B cup is seen as the standard. So the numbers that fall under the B are the rib cage or band measurement and then everything is just numbered up or down from there. Okay, so you remember how with that bottom cup measurement, there was a whole bunch of different bra sizes that could be, um, that could go with that cup. What you'll see here is you'll see, okay, uh, a 42A is gonna have a number 40 um, underwire, but a 40B is also gonna have a 40 underwire. And a 38C is also gonna have a 40, and a 36D, and a 34E, and a 32F. All of those bras are gonna have the exact same underwire. And this is like one of the funny things about, about bra sizing, and like you really can't estimate or guesstimate or guess or whatever, anything about somebody's bra size, because this person who is a 42A is gonna be much more heavy set, maybe, um, they might even have more padding on the back, whereas this person who is a 32F, so this is gonna be a smaller body with um, a larger bust, but in actual fact, these two people have the same amount of breast tissue. Crazy, right? And so this is why you can't just say, hey, uh, you know, I'm a, a 38F, I need a 38F underwire, it's because that 38F underwire does all of those sizes as well. All right, so like I said though, the measurements were just a starting point. All right, so let's say that you, maybe you have gone to one of those boutique fittings where they started bringing you a whole bunch of different sizes of bras, even though they measured you and they said, okay, we measure you and, and you're a 36D. They're not just gonna bring you a 36D. Um, big box stores will often bring you a 36D in every style that they have, which can be helpful to a point. Um, but some people like their bands tighter, some like their bands looser. And so first of all, they're definitely going to try you on with a 34 and a 38 band to see which band you feel most comfortable in. But then that's gonna change your cup size. So they're gonna, they're not gonna keep you in a 34D, they're gonna try you in a 34E because that's the underwire that you wear. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Now, this is what you call sister sizing. They're the same, the same underwire is used for different sizes of bras. Okay, so we know how to find our basic cup size, underwire size that we might need to order. We understand that that underwire size, we might have different band preferences, but that the underwire size will stay the same, except we also have different shapes of underwires. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at, I'm going to arbitrarily pick 
18 centimeters. And here is, let's pretend that this is an underwire. So my, my little elastics right there. So there's an underwire for Gertrude. All right, so this underwire is a little bit wide for her, um, but let's say this is the right size of underwire for her, her, the amount of breast tissue that she has. But maybe what she really needs is she needs the underwire to come up higher because she has a fuller breast up here. But that doesn't change the measurement that we took from the bottom. So that's when the long and extra long wires come in. And I really feel like calling them long wires is actually a misnomer. They should be called high wires. Um, much like in our chart over here where we have sister sizing and, and things kind of correlate, um, if we were to go in a long wire, we would size it down because you want the wire to be the same length. I'm gonna show you some charts and hopefully this will clarify, but let me just show you. So if we went with a long wire for Gertrude, that doesn't mean the wire is actually any longer. What it means is it means that it's a bit narrower and deeper. And so she will have a bit more support higher up. So if you are somebody who has a smaller frame and a larger chest, that might be a good option for you. Or maybe you're somebody that you just need, you have fullness at the top of your bust and you're gonna need those higher wires. That's why those exist, they exist for you. So let's talk about the correlation between them because what you'll also see on your pattern sometimes is you'll see, oh, this accepts wire sizes, regular 42, long 40, and extra long 38. See how when we went with the longer wire, we went down in size. Okay, let's pick a wire here. Uh, let's do the regular wire number 38. So that is how you would order that wire. That's like the name of the wire. But what you really want to be concerned with here is how long it is. So this wire is 233 millimeters. They're not going to match with the long or extra long. This is the extra long chart but it'll be within millimeters of each, of each other. So the next one would be a 34. The closest one in an extra long would be a 34 um, extra long wire, and it is 235 millimeters off. So it's two mil off, which is fine. Your bra pattern will accommodate that, which this means that this is basically the same length of wire, but it is pinched in so the wire can go higher up on your bra. So it's going to give you a very different shape. Okay, so to illustrate this point further, I've got two pieces of masking tape here. Let's say that this is gonna represent the regular wire. Okay, you can all see that. That's, let's say that's a regular wire on her. Maybe it goes, well, it's not too bad of a fit, but let's just say, let's see what the difference of a, a long wire would be. And the long wire is still gonna start, it's still gonna be at the same spot at the bottom because that bottom cut depth would be the same. But it's gonna come up higher. Okay, so this would not be the, cut, the wire to choose for Gertrude, but I just wanna show you the difference of they are the same length, but they have a very different fit. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's talk about for a second how you can use these charts to help you figure out which is gonna be your best underwire fit. Okay, so on Bra Maker Supply, you can print these off. I know there are other ordering websites that have these as well. Um, on Bra Maker Supply, they were a little hard to find. If you're on their homepage, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom and then um, on the left-hand side, you will see bra wire charts. And that's where you find these. And it can seem a little confusing. I thought at first I had to buy the charts because it says view PDF and buy. And I thought, do I have to like get an email to me or something? No, the buy button is like, you've looked at the charts, you've figured out what you need and now you wanna buy it. So click on the view PDF, you can totally print them out. And then where did my thing go? There it is. All right, once you have your printouts, um, and you've done your measurements and you're, you're pretty sure you know which one, but you just want to double check. There's a few things that you could do. First off, you could use your wire ruler. Um, I'm having a really hard time thinking of the word ruler today. I don't know why. 
on mine, like there's no wire in the ends. So I always make sure that when I am sort of tracing out the drawing um, with my wire ruler that I'm starting it at zero. Um, and then I'll, I'll keep that in mind when I fit and I'll see if that's going to fit. Um, the other thing that you can do is you could just use a glue stick, glue this onto a piece of cardboard, cut out to the smallest one that you think would fit you. And then if you, if it's too tight, then you could cut out to the next one and just without a, a bra or a shirt on, put it under your breast tissue and see if that's going to fit. How do you know that it's going to fit? Okay. This is not the right one for Gertie. But what you want is you want it to lay flat against your skin in between um, your breasts. And you don't want it digging into your arm. You don't want it digging into the side of your breast tissue. You want it to be able to lay nice um, on the sides as well. Here's where this gets a little tricky. This is, again, it's like you're doing the best you can with what you have, but you're not really going to know until you get this thing on your body because there's underwire spring as well. So even if you have um, a really simple bra pattern and you it doesn't have like a whole bunch of pieces and you can lay this on your pattern, it's probably not going to fit your pattern because once you have this on your body and your band has pulled your bra tight, chances are that's going to spring out a little bit. So keep that in mind when you're fitting these using paper or wire or whatever, um, that your underwire is probably going to move a little bit in your bra. Um, and so honestly, if you were a first time bra sewer, if this all seems just like, oh my God, it's too much. I can't, I can't keep this all in my head. Here's, here's what I recommend you do. You take your measurements as the website says you take them. Let's say you are 36D and it says that you need a wire that is a number 40. Um, stick with regular wires for the first go and most bra supply websites will have the option to order a three pack of underwires. And so what that's going to do is it's actually going to, um, they will then send you a 38, a 40 and a 42. That's at least going to give you a little bit of wiggle room. Um, and really like they're, I think they're 250 a pair. It's like 750 for a three. So, I mean, you're going to the trouble, just order, order the set of three. Well, there we go. That's everything I know about ordering underwires and understanding the sizing. And I really hope that I was able to turn that into something that was cohesive and understandable for you. That was my goal. Uh, I really hope that if this is something that's been keeping you back from like ordering those supplies and sewing your own bra because the underwires just seem too confusing to figure out. I hope that we've solved that today and you will be on your way to sewing your own bras because I mean, they're fun. They're fun. They're a fun project. So let's get at it. I'll see you next time.